Hello, every folks, and good morning. And, um, well, if you didn't hear, uh, there was a bit of a leak recently. Uh, so, yeah, apparently there is uh, this whole uh, GE Force Now service, whatever, uh, what have you, um, that, um, well, somebody ended up uh, going through their, uh, their their database and whatnot, and they found a bunch of listings that uh, appear to mention a whole bunch of remakes. Now, um, for anyone that missed it, a little while ago, uh, Square Enix was mentioning doing a bunch of remakes. Um, and there's actually stuff from uh, from Capcom, EA, a bunch of other ones here as well. Um, actually, well, it, it would have been pretty interesting to see if uh, Atlas down here by any chance had decided to uh, to remake the uh, the versions of Tactics Ogre that they had. But, um, and, and before you're wondering, unfortunately, no, don't see uh, any Ogre Battle or Tactics Ogre on there unless it happens to be this unannounced title for some reason. But there is an FFT remaster that's on the way, and that's kind of what I wanted to discuss here, because um, they specifically mention remaster, not remake. So don't, like, it kind of makes me wonder what that even means. Like, it could be FFT coming to PC, because, uh, I mean, GE Force Now, that sounds like a, like a PC game type service, to be honest. I I'd never even heard about that up till now. So my guess is it's probably just like FFT, probably the iOS version or something like that, uh, coming over to uh, uh, coming over to PC. Uh, realistically, I wouldn't imagine that it, like if they were porting another version, I really wouldn't hope that it's the P uh, PSP version. Um, basically, the the iOS version adds a whole bunch of quality life stuff, you know, free camera, all that kind of stuff. Um, still retains the completely jacked up audio. Like uh, if they do do a uh, FFT remaster, like you know, like they're mentioning here. It does mention in this article, by the way, that all of these things very possibly could have just been abandoned projects or whatever else, but uh, these just were things that were mentioned in the files, so, you know, grain of salt, as they mention all over this thing. But, um, but yeah, if they do an FFT remaster, uh, again, I would hope that they would probably take the quality of life stuff from the iOS version and stuff like that and combine it with the audio of the original. I can't believe that with all the re, uh, you know, redos that they've done for it, uh, they haven't simply gone and just used the audio from the original version. Um, now, granted, yeah, would have definitely taken a, uh, you know, Tactics Ogre uh, remake. Well, not remake. We already got a remake for that one. But at least a port of some of the older versions uh, over an FFT remaster. I mean, that thing is functionally the like the Resident Evil 4 of, uh, of uh, strategy RPGs at this point. It's just come out of, well, it's basically come out for everything short of your toaster, um, which, funnily enough, uh, yeah, Resi 4 Remake is actually on here, too, and that one uh, was looking pretty nifty. Um, actually, they had another Monster Hunter on here. They had another Dragon's Dogma, all that kind of thing. Bioshock 2022, which I... That seems kind of random, but yeah, apparently a Bioshock remaster on here as well. Though, yes, yeah, San Andreas remaster would definitely uh, be on board for has uh, been hoping for uh, for something like that for a while. Was hoping for that out of GTA V. Wasn't quite uh, wasn't quite that. Um, yeah, apparently they're remaking Half Life Two before they're ever remaking uh, or before they're ever making Half Life Three. But uh, oh, I guess Catherine's getting another re-release as well. But a lot of these, it should be noted, seem to be stuff that already exists. So it's very possible that these are just simply ports that are coming to PC. So uh, my guess is that's what the FFT remaster is. Because uh, they've already done the remake. Their main contribution to it was to uh, basically t completely old yeller the audio and then add some chicken missions and add some cutscenes. Um, a little curious what other folks thought of the cutscenes. I know personally I thought they were really jarring because like you had all the love that went into the original cutscenes, you know, all the little little pixel people getting all super brutal with each other, and then they just replaced it with, like, here's all this poetic artistry, you know. But where's the brutality, man? Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, curious to see, to, uh, hear what you guys think of all that. Um, and, uh, and yeah, if anything ever actually ends up getting updated on this, uh, I'll make another video, realistically. I mean, it's, it's Square Enix stuff. We won't know until it's already out. Um, like, hell, I remember when uh, when Tactics Ogre was coming out, their friggin' marketing on it was so bad that I didn't even see the trailers, didn't even see the release or whatever else, despite looking for it until, like, about a week or so after it came out. Um, I mean, I basically was sitting there refreshing the PSN page, and that was the first I'd heard of it being there. So, 
All right, you guys have a good one. Take care, and uh, curious to hear what you think of uh, these uh, these rumors about all this. All right, see you next time.